Okay, uh, day three of the sled deck build. Um, so a little bit of progress since last time I picked the camera up. We got uh, these uh, support bra braces with the legs that go into the box of the truck. Got one tacked up. Uh, he's tacking the other one up right now. Um, anyway, that was a lot of monkeying around to figure out the angles that we need. You can see our, our rough sketches there of everything. But uh, I think we got everything figured out to how it should work. So the deck will the deck will sit on top of here. I wanted to try to keep the box as usable as possible. So we put the legs on the outside of the fenders. That way you can still fit uh, like a sheet plywood or something four feet wide will still fit in between the fenders, not run into the uh, sled deck rails. So, yeah. Anyway, and then I gave myself a little over a quarter inch clearance there just to clear the ramp over the tailgate and make sure the tailgate doesn't run into anything. Um, and then the we also got the step figured out for the little drop down bit. We got that all. The deck will the deck will come to here, and then uh, this will be a drop down. And then we got another bar going across right here. So we'll get all that tacked up. We're gonna probably weld weld these legs all up first because they're gonna be a little bit of a pain to try to weld after everything's tacked together so we're gonna weld them first um, and then tack it onto the deck and uh, go from there um, oh should probably say what we figured out for angles for all you that uh, want to build one yourself so the angle for the little step there we got a 30 degree cut and it is six and a half inches from the short side of the angle. So that is, um, yeah, 30 degree angle and six and a half there to there. And then our other pipe is going to come across well down there. And that goes on the end. So with this one being a 30 degree angle here um, this other one ended up being a 60 I believe yeah that one's a 60 opposite of the 30 there there's a good way to test it a 30 and 60 equals you 90 so yeah so this angle here and that's just a little bit of a brace to go underneath that that one is a 60 degree angle so yeah, we'll get this all welded up, tack the other one, weld it all up, and uh, set the deck on top of it. Okay, so we got the legs tacked on to the frame. Figured it'd be easier on the floor again. Um, so we wanted 55 and a quarter inside. So Got that, um, which ended up being with the six feet wide, uh, six and seven eighths on the outside. Checked it level, level off the ground. So just put a square there, check that. Tack them up, uh, we'll take and flip this over and test it in the box. Make sure it fits in there before we weld it up. Looking good boys. We got the deck tested up in here. Fits absolutely spectacularly. So it's down in the down in those little grooves there, like I had said. Doesn't doesn't seem to wobble too bad. Gives us a little bit of room here. I was hoping to keep that as close to the box rail as possible, but 
Um, with that extra room though, we can leave, have a solid ramp that'll slide right through there. And I'll build a bar, put a bar across in there that the ramp will sit on. So yeah, we're going to take and figure out the back rack part of it. Then we'll take it out, we'll weld these, weld our sloped piece and our bar, get our extensions in. Yeah, just coming along. Coming along quite nicely. Uh, we're putting some three by inch and a half in the center here, just so that uh, when we put the plywood deck on top, we can screw in both sides of the seam. And because I can't screw into this, I'll have to screw into these ones and that one. I'm not sure yet if I should put one in the middle or not, but for now while you're just doing that, it'll support the seam of the two sheets of plywood. Over here we got uh, all six of our braces in, or sorry, our extensions in. And they're, some of them are a little tight, but uh, I think because we use it, it should uh, loosen up. We got our angled piece of tack in. We had to modify this corner a little bit to keep it flush on the top. Um, we got that bar there that goes down there for the step to hold the ramp on. Um, then we got our the headache rack part all tacked together. Um, this was a little bit of a challenge. It's all of a personal preference on how you want it to look on the vehicle. So, took some, took a piece, a sample piece and my angle finder and played with angles and lengths until we found one that we thought looked good on the vehicle. Um, so what we came up with, we are six, Nine, I believe outside the outside yeah 69 outside the outside we are 18 uh, short short corner short corner 18 on both of those and at the top we are can't hold a camera in we're on tape measure with only two hands and across the top, at the bottom, short side, short side, or 15 a quarter. So that, uh, that puts my third brake light just underneath here. So it's above that, doesn't block it at all. Um, and then this, this angle here uh, matches the contour of the cab. So a little bit of messing around to do that. Um, my final angles were... Um, we just decided on a 68 degree angle right here. Uh, 68. 68 degree is what we decided there. Um, so this cut here is, you gotta do a double. So both of them get cut the same angle. And that is a 34-56 angle. So depending on what side you measure from, it's 34 or 56. So you got to look at it. It's got to be less than 45. So if you measure 56 from that way and it's more than 45, you know you got it wrong. So anyway, 56 or 34, depending on what side you went from. And then down here, we are a 68 degree angle. Just flip this. How did I do that? I guess like that. Anyway, that's a 68 degree angle. Or a 22, depending on what side you came from. So, yeah, there's all the angles for that. Okay, well we've gotten a lot, uh, a lot done since the last time. Uh, kind of forgot to pick up the camera, so 
Um, but we got the front end uh, all welded. Well, the whole thing's welded up. Um, I think I had this tacked there before. We put some gussets here so that we could weld all the way around the headache rack part. Um, this is some um, inch and a quarter tube. Um, cut at the 68 degrees. You can see here 53 and a quarter, 56 three quarter, and 16 and a quarter. That's all the short side, short side measurement. And then it's evenly spaced. Um, three, 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 and then it's three and a quarter. No, sorry, three and three and a half up here to clear our light. Um, then we got the brackets here for the light bar on the front. They're all on. We had one uh, major issue that we ran into. We wanted to put some gussets down below. You wanna see them? It ended up warping the inside of the tube really bad. So we had to do lots of grinding. And you can see here, we had to cut a groove in it to clear the weld. And so we've spent probably three hours trying to get all these slide outs to fit again because we uh, wanted to add these little gussets. So uh, anyone else wanting to build one, I would not recommend doing that if you want to, uh, don't want to spend a bunch of time grinding. So, but otherwise it all worked. The ones that we didn't put the Best it's on, they work fine. So, um, and then this one here, I was a little bit concerned with welding all the way around, but uh, it catches a little bit. But pretty, uh, pretty smooth still. Um, so we'll put a crossbar down here at the 55 and a quarter, just to keep everything uh, straight there. Um, yeah, added these center braces, I don't know, yeah, added those just to screw the plywood into, so we're gonna have a seam in the plywood right there. Welded them in, well, yeah, everything's welded up, so we're just, uh, tacking up the side pieces here, uh, I think he's got them tacked up. Um, so this here is uh, we're 96 inches short side, 8 inches short side, and then it's two 15 degree angles to butt up to match the 30 degree angle for our little step. So we have that all tacked together, welded on. We test fitted on the truck already and it seems to work pretty good. Um, Last thing I think we gotta do is we need a, just need an eye to tie down up to the cross members. So we need four of them and then a crossbar for a ramp to slide in, to slide on underneath. So yeah, that should be about it. And yeah, we'll uh, get you back up once we get it all welded up and then we'll be painting it. Painting it, uh, putting some lights in, and should be good to go on the truck and go pick the sleds up. Okay, so we made a lot of progress on the deck. Keep forgetting to grab the camera, so I'll try to catch you guys back up. Um, so we ended up taking and after I welded these side rails here. They, every one of these bent or twisted a little bit and it was very difficult to get it in and out to slide. Had a horrible time with it. So we ended up taking and I cut seven and a half inches off of the end of each of these on the inside. So I'm 24 inches from the outside of the tube to the inside. So that's, it's a little bit less uh, material to try to be sliding around. So I did that. I took a die grinder with a flap wheel on it and had to find a small die grinder. 
and I took and cleaned as much of this out as I could on the inside of all of them. Um, that definitely helped. And then I took and coated and sprayed the inside of these. And each one of these, I sprayed them in penetrating oil. There's maybe a little bit of it left on here. But after I'm done, oh yeah. Hands are all slimy now. Um, yeah, once we get them painted, I'm probably gonna coat these all in grease just so I'll use uh, cold grease that way it doesn't freeze on me um, and yeah that should help everything slide in and out like it should um, then we got the side edge here done I think that looks pretty good uh, we went with a four inch by uh, one eighth so this piece is uh, 96 long Then we just took and traced the line of the angle here cut our angle there and then up front I wanted something to cap it a little bit so when it slid in this will this here will cap up to there so should look pretty good I think it looks all right extended as well um, and then this here there's a little gap right there to clear the outside and I just have it welded there and a down hand on the corner which I think cleaned up pretty good so yeah that's the deck I got the light mounts on for my light bars on my previous headache rack um, so we got the ramp started we're doing a doing a nine foot ramp. Um, I built these little hooks here. I'm hoping it'll work. I kind of forgot about that in my planning process. So I'm hoping they'll hook there all right. We may have to build a locking system. It'll lock underneath it. Um, I think they sit on there pretty decently and they will fall down onto it so anyway I'm not sure I'm hoping those will work so we're gonna start with anyway these funky looking hooks um, and then we are using one inch uh, by eight square these are what was it 45? 45 yeah 45 inches long nine feet long that puts us at a wrong every 14 and then the last one's at like 10.